Hello, my darlings. It's me, Aunt Mabel, and I'm going to be doing a little crafting project for you today. Um, I picked up this here floor mat down at the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, it says welcome. Real thin. Uh, you know, it's not going to you see how thin it is. It's not going to last a long time, but for my purposes, it's going to serve what I need. So it says welcome, and I'm going to change that. I'm going to put un up here at the top, and this one's going to go sit outside the front door. And then on the other one, it's going to say welcome to leave underneath it. And uh, I'm going to put that on the inside at the front door as well so people know that they are unwelcome in my house and if they do get in they are welcome to leave just because i like being silly but i'm just going to be using some old regular craft paint this here is americana in true red and this is um americana fabric painting medium i've used this on costumes before and it it does a real good job i like the way it holds onto the fabric and everything so i'm gonna pop this off here real quick and uh, not gonna be using any fancy tubes I got some old cheap paint brushes from the Walmart of course they do have they do have paint and they do have paint brushes at the Dollar Tree but I already had the paint and uh, I had everything else except for the Welcome, Matt. So I thought I just get that and use that. So uh, I'm gonna grab a, a popsicle stick real quick, and you can see that it kind of, it's kind of separated right now. But I'm gonna use a popsicle stick and mix that up real good, and I'll get right back with you. All right, now I got the paint mixed up real good, so I'm just gonna jump right on in here, get a bunch of paint on my brush. And I'm just going to ride it in here at the top. All right. Well, we may have to do this up in a couple layers. That'd be all right. Weren't a whole lot of pre-planning that went into this. So... This is just one big experiment. Probably have to do two, maybe three layers. Get this red to pop up real good. And for all you English majors, we gotta put our grammatical symbol in there. I don't know, maybe I should have left that out. I can cover that back up with some black paint, I don't mind. But, uh, yeah. This will take a lot more paint. That's okay. We got plenty. And 
if you read the instructions on here, it says mix two to one with medium. And uh, that's two parts paint to one part medium. And I'm not really uh, measuring anything out. I'm just squirting me some in the container. Oop in the container there and uh, mixing it up till I feel like it's got a good consistency. If I feel like I need to add more paint, I can add more paint or if I feel like I need some more of that mixing medium, I can add that. But, uh, you know, for this, because this is more just a joke than anything else. Uh, you don't have to be too elaborate. Now, a few years ago, I was working on some costumes and we hand painted a bunch of detail on um, a wizard's robe. And for that, I just got two bottles of the medium and I got one bottle of the paint that way I knew it was a, uh, or sorry, two, two bottles of paint and one bottle of medium. And that way I knew that it was uh, a fairly accurate one-to-one -one ratio. But for something like this, you know, as long as you, as long as you don't mix it up too, too thin, it'll be all right. As I said, this is just gonna go outside on the front porch for the life. This is mostly for the people that dropped off the uh, the DoorDash or the Grubhub or whatever. Just kind of a, a giggle for them. I think I'm going to add a little exclamation mark right over the chair. There we go. Let's see if that's dried up enough where it'll pick up some more. Oh yeah. Of course, I could speed up this process by using a hair dryer or use a, a heat gun on low and set it back a ways. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do it just set this in front of the fan. It's got a little old box fan. Yeah, that'll look good once it dries up real good. I'm gonna set that in front of the box fan, let it dry for about an hour or so. Uh, the instructions on here says leave, uh, allow design to air dry for 24 to 48 hours. He set for 30 seconds with the iron. So, um, again, that's more, that's more for, uh, you know, if you was gonna put it on costumes or something. Now you could just skip, skip this whole step entirely and go straight for some outdoor uh, latex based paint. And if I had some in red, that's probably what I'd have used, but I, I don't have any in, in red. So um, that's why I, I did this. And again, you know, I don't need this to last for years. And, uh, you know, I only paid a dollar on the rug and I already had everything else. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to well outlive its purpose. Uh, and that's mostly to play a couple pranks on some friends of mine. But anyway, uh, I'm going to set this out in front of the fan and I'm going to get started on the other one. And, uh, so I'll, I'll get back with you in just a minute. Okay, so here we are with the second rug. 
And again, we're using the same old color mix because why not? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is put your welcome to leave. Because uh, if I just put to leave on the bottom, people may not understand it. So I'm going to put your And of course, if you know how to do calligraphies, um, you know, you could make this look, yeah, match the same font or, or whatever, but I kind of like it where it's, it's different. Now remember, this is grammatically correct. So what I am saying is you are welcome to leave. Therefore, instead of writing you are, I'm going to write your, which is a conjunction of the word you and are, which is Y-O-U-R-E, not just Y-O-U-R. All y'all out there who need some, some grammar lessons, because trust me, I see all them comments up on my Tic Tac, and y'all don't know how to, how to, type worth a damn. I fear for the future, all these children being homeschooled now. And can't do basic reading, writing, and arithmetic. You gotta put your little comma right here. You are welcome. And then down here, we're going to put two leaves. I'm going to pop this up. Scoot that up a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better. I got this idea a couple months ago around Christmas time. I was rewatching one of my favorite uh, Christmas movies. It was uh, The Grinch with that uh, Jim Curry. And I just love when the, the children roll up on his house up on the mountain and he's got that welcome mat that says buzz off. And uh, somewhere I got me one of these that it don't have no writings on it. And I was going to do the same thing. I was going to write Buzz off on it and put it out around Christmas. But, um, you know, I forgot about it because I'm old. So I, I just... I said, well, I'll do something else. I think I'm going to do leave in all capitals. Nah, because I won't have enough room. I'll just keep it capital L.
run out of paint mix. Oh Lord, I got, got that all over my finger. Sorry about that. My phone was buzzing, so I decided to cut the video for a second. Hop back on here. I had to mix up a little bit more of this here. Paint. I think I'll do another exclamation point. Like so. Oh yeah, once that first layer dries a little bit, real good. What I just realized, I just realized I didn't have, I did not put enough, nary, nary a bit of music in the background for us to listen to. I apologize for that. Y'all know I ain't too good with all this technology. See this part down here on the bottom still too wet. But I'm gonna go set this in front of the fan real quick. And then I'll come back in a little while and uh, swap that one out. So y'all give me a second. I'll try to cut this part out or fast forward one. I mean, I weren't gone too, too long, but still. Nobody wants to sit here. And... Might have something to watch or listen to. It'd be boring as hell.
I'm really making this for my brother-in-law. Delma. He get on my damn nerves. All the time coming over here trying to fix stuff. And I keep telling him that this place is rented. I don't own any of the stuff he's trying to fix. He just won't have it. He, he try to be helpful. Tell him he'd be more helpful if he'd sit down and shut the hell up, but he won't listen to me. Should have seen it a couple premises ago. He climbed up in the attic. He's having a premise over at their house. He crawled up in the attic to get the Christmas tree down so we could decorate it. And somehow, don't know how, he managed to stick his foot through the ceiling. He fell, stuck his foot through the ceiling, had the tree with him. And he, half of him and half the tree was sticking out of the hole in the attic. And I don't know how he didn't break both his legs or his neck or something, but I don't know. I guess it's because he, they ain't nothing in there for him to break. This is full of air. So that's my unwelcome and you're welcome to leave mats. I'm gonna let these dry up overnight. And then tomorrow, I'm going to take them down there and put them, uh, put this one. Excuse me, sorry. Put this one on the outside. And, uh, put that other one on the inside here. But I hope y'all enjoyed this little bit of time with me. Y'all take care, darlings, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. At this time, I would like to thank my Patreon sponsors, I could not do what I do without your love and support, darlings, and I so greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoy my content and would like to consider being one of my Patreon sponsors, please head over to Patreon and look me up under Aunt Mabel Crawford. Y'all have a wonderful day, my darlings, and y'all take care. Bye-bye.